Let's go to Washington now and speak to the Washington Post Global Opinions Editor, Karen Atia. Karen, um, good to see you. It really was quite heartbreaking to read Jamal Khashoggi's last piece, which you published uh, today. Tell me how that felt for you. Um, I think the moment that uh, I was going through uh, the piece, it was sent by his assistant and translator that he worked with while he was here and I was just reading the piece and I saw just the the turns of phrases and the way that he constructed the sentences and I just I just knew you know this is Jamal and I think what people maybe people outside the journalism world don't really know or understand is that the relationship between an editor and a, a writer is, is quite intimate you know a writer is is trusting you with your, your uh, words uh, with their words with their ideas and um, I think this time for me to edit and and to have questions about you know what did he mean here and uh, Jamal what did he mean, what did you mean here and not really being able to WhatsApp him like I used to um, and and ask um, and that part the the finality of it. Um, uh, it, it just reminded me of, of the immense privilege and, and gratitude that I have uh, for him um, for for trusting us at the post with his words. Um, I'm I'm grateful that he felt free in his his year here. Um, but it's 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 incredibly sad. It's incredibly sad to think that um, he he can't see how much of an impact his his piece is already having all around the world, translating it into Arabic, seeing that it's it's um, you know spiking in traffic on our site right now. This was the exact audience that he wanted to reach. This was uh, in in some ways this was you know his dream, and I'm just I'm heartbroken. He's not here to see it. What have you made of the leaks coming out uh, of the Turkish media? Yeah, I mean, other than the fact that it's it's been agonizing for um, going on two weeks now to hear this uh, steady stream of, of leaks from from officials, um, you know, it, it 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 does seem, you know, is this calculated to try to exact? Uh, certain types of leverage um, over the Saudis to, to try to raise the ante for the Saudis. I don't know, um, but it is obviously it's hard to to hear and read that that this man could have been killed in in such a way. Um, you know, over here in the U.S., we have reports that um, intelligence officials, you know, have seen the evidence. Um, so it's it's a um, it's a question of of what exactly the game is, um, but regardless of that, it is a game, some sort of game being played. It seems with with this man's life and his family and his friends, and it's 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 still heart wrenching. You've been working really hard over the last couple of weeks not to have Jamal's voice silenced. I know it's taken a, a personal toll on you. How do you intend on continuing his work? I mean, do you hope to publish more things in, in Arabic and, and draw uh, attention on the, the situation in, in Saudi and across the Middle East? Yeah. Uh, so we have this last column, which, which went out today. And um, on the print spread, we have an illustration of him just to, for people to remember um, this man and his words and his ideas. Um, I actually have, we actually have one last audio conversation that, that we had um, that he desperately wanted published. Uh, me as an editor, I just, I couldn't get around to it. I couldn't get around to it. And he was always asking, you know, where is it? Where is it? Um, so hopefully, you know, that should be coming soon. But as far as, you know, continuing his work, it's, it's exactly that, is to continue to provide a voice for Arab voices who don't have um, homes anymore journalistically in their respective countries. I think um, with the Arabic, the Arabic is a way to to reach um, a lot of uh, these voices as well. And so I think we'll, I I I personally um, would want to continue that and to continue that legacy and to again push for freedom and to hold these leaders accountable um, in the the region. And uh, it's the least we can do. He gave up so much for in, for us. It's the um, least we can do. Karen, thank you for uh, the work that you've done to honour his memory. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Alda.